Excuse me. So Corporal Gonzalez, Tampa Police Hi. Department. Hi, do you have your driver's license with you? No. Tonight was scary. Tonight was scary? Why was it scary? It was my first night being out alone. Oh, yeah? I don't know. It's Tampa. Yeah. Tampa's a big city. Okay. Do you know why I'm stopping you? I don't. Is this your car? This is my car. Okay. Your lights are off. My lights are off? Yeah. Yeah, it's dark up there. You want to see if they work? They work, right? Yep, there we go. I'm sorry. Where are you coming from? Just Bradenton. Where are we coming from tonight? Tonight, I'm saying. Yeah. Where were you at? Earlier, where were you at? I was at just Soho. Soho? This okay. is my first night here. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. And where are you going to? Where are you heading to so, now? I'm, I'm heading home. I'm just heading home. It's where's nice. home it's at? It's a rough night. Hawks Landing. Hawks Landing? Have you heard of that? No, where's that at? It's in North Carolina. Right oh. across from the I have everything. I, I do I do have everything. Why are you going why are you going this way though? I'm sorry, which way am I going? You're going south towards Bayshore. Bayshore? I'm dropping off. I have any uh um, frequency that has ah! I'm sorry, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. You live near Bay Bayshore? I'm just making nervous. You live near Bayshore? No. I live near Bayshore. I Hawks Landing. Okay. What are you looking for? Whatever you want. Your license. My I think, license. I think it's in your lap right there. I have everything in my lap right here. I'm sorry. I'm just nervous, bro. Here's my nerve. Here's my license. I got my insurance and all my records right here. How old are you? I'm 18. 18? Yeah. No, but I got my insurance card. Camera. Can you step out and talk to me a little further around here? What's that? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and step out for me. We'll talk right here. So you said you were coming from Soho and you're going you're going home, you said? I'm just going to drop her off. All right. Now you, you're, you're under 21, okay? Yeah. How many drinks did you have tonight? I would like to be honest. I've only had two. Okay. Okay. Right. How'd you get them? Did, did the bartender give it to you? Did a okay. friend? Okay. Just just honestly, mm -hmm. random people in the bar. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Fine. You have any sicknesses or injuries at all? No. Medical, I'm okay. Any medical conditions, disabilities, no. diabetic? I'm alright. Okay. I'll give you whatever you need, like okay. insurance, medical. Alright, just, just hang out for a second. Okay, we'll, we'll come over to the hip. It's been a long time, are you sure? What's we'll been a long time? <laughs> My mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I don't know if I should talk to you guys about this. Okay. It's up to you. For real, I don't trust. I know that I just got pulled over and that you need to run your 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 tags on me and please charge me for whatever you you feel necessary but I sure I can talk to you? Yes, of course. Oh my god, this is such a bad time. I have been dealing with like a schizophrenic mother for years mm -hmm. and I don't know what there is to do about it. And my sister is, she's 12. She doesn't know what, she doesn't know what's good enough for her. So at 18, you're... And I have been fighting for her for so long, mm -hmm. but I don't know what else I could do. So at 18, you're obviously able to get out. So at 12, I can, yeah. and I, I have gotten out. I got out for myself. 12 years old is, is the problem. So the problem. if you believe that she's in danger, you need to call and report it to DCF. You ever hear DC Department of Children and Families? I, I've heard of it, but the problem is, is she's not in, uh, she's not in immediate danger. But it's, the problem is, like when the episodes, when the episodes happen, mm -hmm. then we're in danger. But when the episodes aren't happening, she can't. I'm sorry, I'm cold. Do you have a jacket? 
I do have a jacket. Yeah, but, no, it doesn't matter. No, no, you're cold. It doesn't matter, but I just, Where's your jacket at, honey? I can't about my sister. It's back, back here? I don't see it up here. I don't care. Honey, if you're cold, get your jacket. I can't worry about my sister. Okay. Please. Do you don't want to get your jacket? I don't care about okay. my jacket. All right. Yeah, so you need... You need if, to... we're getting, like, if we're getting the cops and DCFS involved, then I just I just want my sister to be I, safe. I understand. So, like I said, you need 1-800-96-ABUSE. You need to report the incident to... It just, to DCF. It doesn't matter if you report it. Of course it does, because they, they, they investigate they Nothing investigate happens. It. But have you ever reported it? You haven't, no. right? So you don't know if anything will happen, right? I'm... Right? So, like, let me let me go finish verifying your documents. Did you want to get your jacket or, or hang back out in the car? You can do whatever. Yeah, I'll hang back in the car. Okay. Right. Want me to open the door for you? Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll be right back. No, I don't want you to get hit by a car. Okay. Okay. Hang on, I'm almost done. Okay. Yep. I don't know how to pause this thing, so I'm going to leave it in the okay. <laughs> <Whatever. laughs> I need to figure it out. So I'm rolling, coming down the street. Uh, there's a Swan uh, westbound. I, see I go to turn on uh, on a Howard. See okay. this car southbound on Howard, no lights. Okay. Make the U-turn. As I'm turning around, catching up to it, she's straddling the, the two lane lines as she's coming through. Yeah, as she's oh, coming through the intersection. Side, yep, okay. going southbound. Okay. I activate my lights right here. She, I think she was actually going to stop. For some reason, she was like just suddenly stopping before I activated my lights. Maybe I don't know, but whatever, okay. regardless, she kind of suddenly stopped and then pulled over. Made contact, bloodshot, watery eyes, slurred speech, odor of alcoholic beverages on her breath. Uh, responses: um, She said she's going home to Brayton, or no, she lives in Bradenton, but going home to by the Buck Stadium on Dale Mabry. But she's going this way. Not the right way. Correct. Um, I'm talking to her, asking her questions, dividing her attention. She. Okay. Dropped her license in her lap, all that. She's 18. Um, she admitted to having two drinks in the bar. Uh, and she started crying and all that. So. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, I might pull up a little bit right here. and Depending on how it goes, probably, probably just go up All right. See, I'll just turn off all my license. Yeah. Okay. Gonna... She did say she was cold, so I don't know if you want to. I tried to get her to get her jacket, but she's too um, messed up. So I don't know if you want to. I'll her jacket one more time. Yeah. Nice knock on Hey, how you doing? Monster Bay in Tampa Police Department. Hi. What's going on? What happened? We're good. You good? We're good. Okay. But I would... I would like her to go home, but I would like to talk to, to a, an authority figure. Okay. Okay. We're not about tonight, so I don't know. Where were you guys coming from? We were parked in public parking. In pub, where's that at? What do you mean? Right over here. Twenty dollars public parking. Okay. Okay. Do you have any medical issues or anything like that? I can show you all my insurance. What, what do you mean? I don't. I'm good. Okay. No. Okay. So do, you, no. do you take any kind of medications? I don't. Okay. But I, I would like to talk to to the police department. Okay. Tell you what, hop out and then I'll talk to you out here. Okay. Okay. You'll see that. Your pants are halfway undone already. They were like that already. Okay. I forgot how to get out of that. She's very, yeah. very disoriented. <laughs> it's, it seems like it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Tell you what, just, uh, let's, let's come up on the sidewalk. I would love to go to the sidewalk. Yeah. Well, let's go to the sidewalk. Okay. So, we're, 
did you guys go somewhere in particular down here, or what's going on? Stop. Okay. Okay. So, I'm a responsible person. My name is Savannah Grill. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. I go out all night, but I would like to know what you can do for a schizophrenic person. Uh, well, I can't do a whole lot. But you can't do yeah. anything. Okay. See, so, now that's a problem. You can't do anything. Savannah, let me ask you this. How much have you had to drink tonight? I don't know. What's One that? drink. One drink. Two. One or two. One or two. Okay. Arrest me. Do whatever you need. Well, can I check your eyes as part of field sobriety to make sure that you're okay to be driving? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Okay. Tell you what, I'm going to have you stand right here in my flashlight. All just right. turn face back towards me. Your glasses are kind of Face back. Yeah, just, nope, nope. Hey, just do just like you were. Oh. Face towards me. There you go. Do wear glasses or contacts? I do wear glasses. My glasses are in my car, yeah. then. Okay, but you're not, you don't have contacts on right now. No. Okay. So feet together, hands on by your side. It's cold out here. Can you see my light right here? Yeah. What color is it? Red. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this red light from side to side. Okay. What I want you to do is focus on the red light, follow it with your eyes and your eyes only without moving your head. Okay? okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Nope, keep your head still just so you drive. Oh, just my eyes? Yeah, just your eyes. Nope, keep your head oh, still just so you drive. I'm sorry. Keep your head still. Just use your ass. <laughs> About halfway done, okay? Keep your head still for me. You're focus on this red light. Focus on life. Please help me. Yes, please stop it. Okay. Savannah, focus on my life. Please. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Just bad though. I can focus on the red light. I, I can. I just don't want to. Well, we're just about done. All right, you know, like Savannah. Okay. Do, you, do you have a jacket in the car you want to put on? I don't care about the jacket, okay. sir. Okay. All right, Savannah, uh, will you do a couple other field sobriety exercises for me? Sure. Whatever you want. All right, tell you what, let's, uh, let's come this way. Actually, can I put your jacket on? Yeah, absolutely. I'm freaking cold. Yeah. <laughs> That's not it. Turn it. I like Guys, my, I like I my car, I too. Don't, I don't need the jacket. I don't need the jacket. I put mine on. I'd get it. Why not? I want it and grab it. I just want to Give me a jacket, please. I don't care. Just any jacket, bro. I don't care. Mind if I just don't touch the pockets real quick? Sure, touch the pockets real quick. There you go. Cold. Thank you. I'll shut it. Guys.
Can I talk to you? Yeah. <sighs> this is such a bad timing. <laughs> I've had a mother that has been schizophrenic mm -hmm. my whole life. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's okay. You don't need to suffer. Well, I do. Obviously, it's affected me. I, 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 no one should have to go through that, especially no, as a child. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I know you're not looking for empathy, but I'm giving it. I just don't know what to do. No one can help me. you got to start with ETF. Here, Savannah, will you just step on that tape for me? I'll do it. Alright. Thank you. I'll sure. Corporal. I'm sorry, Corporal Gonzalez. <laughs> one more exercise. It doesn't matter what I okay, do. There's one more exercise I'd like you to do. Okay? Would you, do you want to do the last exercise? Okay, sure. Okay, <laughs> okay last one. So, feet together. Hands on by our side. When I tell you to begin, what I want you to do is raise one foot approximately six inches off the ground. Okay, it can be your left or right foot, whichever one left, you prefer. Uh, Wh which like stepping or just no, no stepping. Is you're just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's gonna look like. Okay, okay? so you're gonna keep both legs straight. You're gonna keep your hands on by your side. You're gonna raise one foot approximately six inches off the ground. Point your toe forward in front of you to keep your foot parallel with the ground below you. Once you look down at your toe, I want you to count out loud: 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, so forth, so on, until I tell you stop. Now, if for whatever reason you put your foot down, just pick it right back up and continue where you left off. Okay, any questions? Do you understand the instructions? I do. Okay. All right, you can go ahead and begin. Here, tell you what, Savannah, what, what do you have right here in your, will you pull your vape, here, pull your vape, pull your vape yeah. pin now, okay? All right, go ahead and put your hands on your back for me. So what's going on right now is getting placed under arrest for driving under the influence, okay? You get down to booking, I'm going to ask that you submit to a breath sample. It's going to measure the amount of alcohol that's in your system. If you don't, there's some penalties that will go along with that. Namely, your license would be suspended for a period of one year for a first refusal, or 18 months if your license has been previously for a prior refusal, okay? Okay. Will you provide a breath sample for okay. me tonight, Savannah? Yeah. Do you have anything in your pockets? No. Honestly, please. Honestly, please take me to jail. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna put this. Room. It's okay. Here, take him. Take him. <laughs> is this your jacket? It is my jacket. Right. Tell you what, I'm gonna put this ring in your pocket up here. Okay. It doesn't matter what rings I have, sir. Right. Actually, it really doesn't matter. Come matter. over this way. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you. I'm more complicated. <laughs> Savannah, do you have I anything in the car? Right, here, take some deep breath. I need to take a deep breath off. Do you have anything in the car that you want to go with you? No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, sir. It really doesn't matter. Right, let's grab a seat. It's But they don't care about me. <laughs> Hey, officers, are you in the car? Yeah, I think we're going to have a time for a search. Owie. Ow. Please, officers, give me some advice because I don't know what to do. Ow, this shit hurts. It's not responsibilities. Just accept that shit.
It's funny because no cop is in here to tell me no, you shouldn't do that, but none of you guys are listening. So I'm going to kill myself tonight. <laughs> it was nice knowing you all. I love all the support and the drive that you've given me, but I'm going to kill myself tonight. I wish that I could have continued longer onto my career and go further, but like I said, no one cares. So I promise you guys I'm gonna be good. I'm just fucking sad. Can someone can uh, hello? I'm in handcuffs back here. I would like somebody to talk to me. Oh, and it was so funny, as I thought that even if I would get handcuffed, they would talk to me. Ha! Hello? Hey. Hey. Hi, Victor. Sorry, hi, Victor. 8-1 with the data. Correct. Send dispatch units to 1855. Ashley and Paul. Hello? Nah, you're right. Don't listen to me. I'm a prisoner talking. I just want help from my mom. Uh, hey, can we send dispatch dispatch units to... Nine one five. No, you're just. I'm just kidding. I don't. We don't have to do that. I don't know what we need. I don't know what we need. We need Narcan. But Narcan is impossible to find because every unit in the hospital is ran out. So what if you have something to trade? What do you have to trade? And then they created this whole epilepsy of trading. Honestly, please take me in behind hut in behind cuffs. Holy shit, I'm in fucking jail cells. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I'm in I'm in jail cells. Please, fucking take me, bro. Be my babe and take me and take me for longer. Who's watching us up here? Hello? Oh. Here's one, you want to talk real quick? Yeah. There's a female officer that's going to search real quick. Just make sure you're going to talk to you. Do you want to tell me about before I search? No? Do you keep any, do you store anything? Just a babe. Just a babe. Where's that at? A vape. Um, like an L. I don't even know. Probably in my purse. Purse. Oh, but nothing on you. No, nothing okay. on my purse. All right. Nothing on my purse. Do you keep anything? Like, do you put credit cards or cash, lipstick in your bra? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. You can check me anywhere. It's fine. Wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Just, check. No, you're fine. Right. Just stay, stand here. Okay. Just spread your feet apart. Don't lean on the car. I'll move you if I need to move you, okay? Okay. All right. No pocket left back. I just need. This is scary. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Take a deep breath. It's, have you ever been? Have you ever been no, something like this? No. Okay. 
It's not as scary as it seems, okay? When you get to jail, there's a lot of people there, okay? And you're going to be in a room where it happens this, you get there, they search you, they get all your information. It's <laughs> hopefully this will, <laughs> hopefully this will show my mom. <laughs> you'll, you'll be there. You're going to be there for a few hours, okay? But this is not the time to jump. It's a, it, you know what? Sometimes humor is the best way, way to go. I know how, yeah. So don't feel bad. I joke about Show a lot of things. I, I okay. trust you. But it's, it's not. Wherever you want to go. Yeah, I do trust it's, you. It's just stand still. Well, it's not as, oh. as scary oh. as you think. Okay? So what's going to happen is when you get there, they're actually going to start to you a few more times. Oh, okay. The officers. They will be a few now. Okay. Well, yeah. Search me where? My private areas. Are they gonna, this are they gonna touch me the way you are? Yeah, that's my underwire. Okay. You can go ahead and stand there. What? I don't want to go and get searched by the other, other officers. Are they gonna do that too? You, so yeah, they're know. they're gonna go everywhere. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you sit back in the car. And then I'm gonna take your shoe off. I'm, okay. I'm the shoe. The shoe? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So anything that you have on your person, if you go into the jail with it, it's gonna be a felony charge. Okay. okay? You have nothing on you that you want to no, disclose. You can check okay. My whole All right. You guys got my purse, right? You can I check got your, that. your wallet and your uh, credit card. You can take the whole thing. Thank you. You're okay.